First, the USDA's Justice for All non-discriminatory statement, which simply states that all persons must be treated equally without regard to their race, color, national origin, sex, religious creed, disability, age, political beliefs, or reprisal or retaliation for prior civil rights activity, and that our institution provides an inclusive space for all. For more information on the And Justice for All statement, please visit the USDA's website. Hi everyone, my name is Kami and I am a nutrition educator with Rutgers Cooperative Extension in the Department of Family and Community Health Sciences for New Jersey SNAP Ed. And thanks for joining us again for our last Let's Talk My Plate series, video series that discusses my plate and breaks it down piece by piece to give you some great vital information to put on your plate. So today we're gonna to be talking about the dairy group. This is the dairy group, the group that resides on the side of the plate, but is still as important. This group includes foods like milk, yogurt, cheese, lactose-free milk, and fortified soy milk and yogurt. However, it does not include all foods made from dairy products, such as cream cheese, sour cream, creamer, and butter. So although those foods are made from dairy products, they are not included as a serving of dairy on our plate. Which brings us to the question, why? Why some foods made from dairy count and others don't? Well, let's talk about it. So last week we discussed the protein group and how animal protein sources contain higher levels of saturated fat and that that saturated fat raises the bad cholesterol levels in our bodies, which leads to poor heart health and an increased risk of a heart attack over time. Similar to that, milk products that come from animal sources that are full fat pose the same health risk as well as acting as a poor source of calcium. This is why it's super important that we choose dairy sources in the approved MyPlate dairy group and their low fat or fat free form for they provide very little saturated fat and have way more nutrients and minerals that are vital for our health and well being. Speaking of nutrition, let's chat a bit more about the dairy groups, nutrition and health benefits. Like many groups on my plate, consuming dairy products provides us with health benefits vital for our body's maintenance. From dairy, we get important vitamins and nutrients such as calcium, and protein, vitamin D, and potassium. Intake of dairy products that contain these nutrients help us build strong bone and teeth support our bone health in general, help maintain a healthy blood pressure, and support each other while doing so. At every age, the dairy group helps us. So speaking of health benefits, let's chat a bit more about the dairy group's nutrition. Like many groups on my plate, consuming dairy products provides us with health benefits vital for our body's maintenance. From dairy, we get these important vitamins and nutrients, such as calcium, protein, vitamin D, and potassium. So consuming dairy products help these nutrients get into our body and build strong bones and teeth, support our bone health in general, and help us maintain a healthy blood pressure. And for individuals who do not consume dairy, you can choose a dairy alternative like fortified soy milk or yogurt, which have calcium, vitamin A, and vitamin D added to them. And they are included as a part of the dairy group because their nutrition content is similar to dairy milk and yogurt. For more information about alternatives to dairy products, please visit choosemyplate.gov. So now that we know all the good the dairy group does for our bodies, let's find out how much we need daily. So the amount you need daily does depend on your age, sex, and level of physical activity throughout the day, 
but my plate recommends three ounces per day. Yes, three ounces. So let's break that down on what an ounce can look like and give examples. So an ounce can look like one cup of milk or one cup of yogurt or fortified milk, one cup of soy milk, or one and a half ounces of natural cheese, or two ounces of processed cheeses. Whatever you make your three ounces out to be for the day, just make sure that you're consuming low or fat free. All right, so now let's wrap up with some takeaways. First takeaway, the dairy group on my plate is specific to certain dairy products that provide us with the most vitamins and nutrients best to support our health. Number two, my plate recommends three ounces of dairy products from the dairy group per day. And it reminds us to choose low fat or fat free options when the choice is available. And number three, if you have dairy dietary restrictions on dairy, please visit www.choosemyplate.gov for more information on how to expand your options. Thanks for watching. If you want more information on MyPlate, please visit www.choosemyplate.gov and please visit our Facebook page for more videos like this.